Oh, so we are just getting ready now and then we're gonna go out to, to breakfast. We had, like I said, a really nice sleep in the apartment. I'm kind of half dragging, half not dragging Samra to like a little vegan restaurant. She said she's really willing to try. So let's see how long that lasts until she gets sick of it. All the beans and rice. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna like do a little bit of our makeup and then we're gonna go off to. Are we ready off again? We're going, we're going to get a cafe. We're going to get a cafe. And then we're going down south towards like um, Place Saint George, right? We're going to start at the top and walk down or whatever. I don't yeah, know. We'll, just, we'll, we'll just walk. <laughs> we're going all around the place. Um, I don't understand what we're doing. Like, we're it's not like you. There are girls usually here, a bunch of people dress much skimpier. So, um, we're just getting, I'm getting cat cold this entire time on my dress. I don't think it's like that bad. I'm kind of getting like little comments on it, so that's fun. Um, so, we are now walking down Praça, uh, not Praça, too much. Avenida de Liberdade. And so, Avenida de Liberdade is the one that has like little fancy stores and such. I mean, obviously, Miu Miu, Bash, up there, we've got like Mont Blanc and like all the other places. So, this is like the really nice place to go for. Um, <laughs> this is the really nice place to go if you're like gonna go shopping for any of these like kind of luxury things. This one is really, really, really good. What we're noticing as well, right in the back there behind Samra, I'm not sure why you can see it. But they have like little pasted nata work class, which I mean, that is just so cute. I'm absolutely obsessed with that. If I had known it, I think it would have been really cool if we had done something like an experience thing. That would have been really nice. But yeah, so we're just doing that. We're kind of like meandering a bit. I have also bought um, a few little things for my mom as well. So I bought like a little olive paste, a jam, and what was it? Olive paste, jam, and chocolate. Yeah, so I'm really excited that she's gonna try it. I hope she really likes it. I think she will. Um, I'm not sure she's gonna eat two chocolate though. She's a little bit too classy for that. <laughs> but yeah, so we're just gonna eat our pastel now to have a little bit of a chat, and then we're gonna go down to Presa Khmer. So we wanna take a few photos and um, a few videos over there, and then I think we're gonna go left over to Gestalt Santa. Gestalt Saint George. Essentially, we're just loving like walking around and a little bit of time. I'm planning on. Obviously spreading out our day, it's like kind of chill, busy, chill, busy, busy, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that we can like spread a lot. We're planning on going to a Friday night as well, so much of that's going to be tonight. Although I think we might go to a Samba night tonight because Samba's more um, of a I sun... <laughs> I like Samba! I just wasn't sure, it's, it's only more on, on a Sunday day, I think, as yeah. opposed to like on an everyday day. So we're trying to do that. Right now we're at Praça do Comércio. Okay, so Praça do Comércio was originally a place where the Portuguese traded items. So all the way at the front there, you can see the sea. So obviously the people used to come from Portugal, uh, not from Portugal, from around the world, and they used to trade. And here used to be all the markets, and everyone used to trade all the items here. So this is Praça do Comércio, place of commerce. We're just enjoying the view. Um, I'm setting up Sam and I can take photos while we look out onto the view because it is so beautiful. You can just see all of Lisboa over here. It's stunning. Okay. So this is 
something that I think my boyfriend would appreciate that I know. So this is like, if I remember correctly, this is like either a crossbow or like archery nook. And so it's wide at the top and small at the bottom because they can get a bigger range of like where you're attacking because they've got a smaller view of where you are. So they find it difficult to like kind of attack you back. You can kind of be there and get a different size as well while you're attacking. So I think, I think that's something that my boyfriend would appreciate that I know or that I saw on a TikTok. <laughs> Summer and I are low key kind of traumatized by um, what we call it. Because when we were in high school, no, when we were in middle school essentially, we used to have at our school they used to speak a whole bunch of peacocks. And so you just kind of hear them when you're like doing exams and then you just hear them go like, ah, whatever. So they're all like just mating season, honestly. They're making so much noise. They were so loud for like what, two, three months of the year? because no one's more horrified than me but um this is the state of my room right now i did have a little bit of a packing mess up where i thought i'd lost something and i was trying a few outfits with samara and then i just kind of made oh my gosh look at that i'm looking so pretty <laughs> oh my god do a little twirl take a step back and do a little twirl oh, yes. <laughs> i was like the stiffest troll i've ever seen in my entire life Oh no, that looks so cute. I love that. Okay, so Samra and I, we're going to get ready because we're going out. We're going to Boa, Boa Bao. But yeah, we're going to go do a little bit of like beautification. Mm -hmm. And then we're going out to dinner. And the nice thing about it is that it's in Bairu Alto, which is the really good place that has all the bars and... The pubs. And all the, the pubs and such, life. yeah. So I think we're going to go have dinner, have like one or two little drinks and then come back. Um, at some point, at some point in the trip, we're going to listen to Fadu. We were, it was supposed to be a samba night, but we... I'm so exhausted actually. My feet are killing me. Yeah. After walking around doing at least minimum 12,000 steps um, at this point, and afterwards, like, by the time and we get to dinner. 26 flights or something 20, like that. Something like 28 flights, you know, because obviously Elizabeth is built on like seven hills. So after doing about seven hills, we are um, shattered, yeah. for lack of a better word. So yeah, dinner and then drinks and then bed? Question mark, who knows what's gonna happen? Who knows what the night will bring? Can actually see ourselves now. Okay, so this is Samra's first time getting the metro. Um, <laughs> it doesn't exist where I come from. <laughs> no, but I mean, at least this is going to give her a basis for like if she goes to Paris, if she goes to London, if she goes to anywhere with the subway system, she's at least going to have a basis of information. The yeah. Portuguese one is pretty simple with the blue, yellow, green, and red lines. So that makes nice and bored just going down two stops to Bachechada to go try uh, Boabao. That's it. And so yeah, hopefully soon she's gonna be navigating, not me. <laughs> I can leave it to you. Good morning, good morning. We are off to Kashkai today. We're gonna go catch the train. What's really good and what I didn't actually show you before is that because it's such a lovely Airbnb, they've given us this little folder with shows, tours, maps. Yeah, but so then they've got like some examples of like the sightseeing and where they are and also the train system. Bali and Kashgar. So we're going this way. The original the way that we had seen it is that we just went onto Google Maps and it was showing us where there was about two hours, 20 minutes. However, from here, we have to just go to Karsh de Sol, which is about 20 minutes for us to walk and get a little train there. And from Karsh we go straight to Kashgar and that's only about 40 minutes. So all in all, it's only about an hour as opposed to the two hours, 20 that um, Google Maps was showing us. So now we're off to go catch um, train to Karsh de Sol and we're going from there, Kashgar. Then we're gonna go enjoy the beach for a bit, go walk around the because it's such a lovely little town anyway as well. We're now having quick breakfast. We made it halfway down to Geshkaish, like beach that we wanted to go for like the Santa Maria one. And then I was like, ah, food. And we pretty much went all the way back to where we came from to come eat. So we're gonna have a late breakfast and early lunch and then we're gonna head all the way back down to the beach. Like we're gonna chill there for this day, have a very chill beach day. And I've got a few things that we need to do tomorrow that are on the agenda. I 
elegance, summer elegance. Is it cold? It's so cold. Pode sentar. Tentar. Julia and Michelle from Germany and Portugal as well. And so we're just having like sharing a little sangria now before we head back over to Lisbon. So we're gonna enjoy the night. Well, enjoy like the next couple hours together before we go off. <laughs> Primeiro temos aqui o Pink Neroli, que é inspirado em Lisboa. Então é livre. Tem sandwich? Tem sandwich? Temos aqui a colete do plato. Não vai ter o álcool que vai fazer dissipar. We had like about 45 minutes to relax. We went to Next Summer's TVA, so I have posted a little reel on that if you want to take a look at that as well. Unfortunately, my memory died out about halfway through, so I had to switch the camera. I think I'm so happy with what I got though that I might actually go back in a day or two. It was also really good because we were in Museu dos Artes Antigos, so like the Museum of Ancient Arts. And one of the things that stood out for me significantly was that a lot of, for example, the furniture section, and maybe like the silverware section, felt very reminiscent of like, oh, I've seen these rugs in my grandma's house, I've seen these chairs at whoever's house. I love going to museums and seeing arts, but seeing like our own history in the items that were there, seeing how, for example, the the earthquake of 1755 made such a big impact on how fashions changed. But we are going out to a Fadu night, and this is a Fadu place that I've actually been to before. I went with my mom to this place maybe about last year. We're gonna have a drink or two, come back. Try not to be too late because we want to be up early, early for Sintra tomorrow. Um, we've seen quite a few Fadu places around. Obviously, Fadu is the historic music of Portugal, like the cultural Portuguese music. So you can find it pretty much everywhere. A lot of places have like Fadu nights pretty much every evening. So we might head out to dance afterwards, but I mean, ideally not because, like I said, we need to be up really early for Wednesday for Sintra. It's going to be a busy, busy day.
The English translation as well. Was it worthwhile? Is it worthwhile? All if the soul is not small. In English, it says, I prefer roses, my love, to my homeland, and love magnolias rather than glory and virtue. Oh, that's sweet. We're finally at the end of our Lisbon journey. I didn't really vlog today too much because I was kind of just running a few errands and then I went out with my grandmother and that's out of the family for a bit. But yeah, they gave me like honestly a little mountain of things here that I need to pack up. I'm not sure if there's a few things I've missed. We had tried to book onto the evening open air cinema and unfortunately it was really busy so we weren't able to get be part of that. But regardless, we did really enjoy our time together. I think what I'll do quickly is that I'll just do a little haul other things that I have bought so that you can see. This is my next memory atelier box, but essentially this is that little gift that I had, that you know, the little solid perfume. And then at the same place at the atelier, I have gotten um, some teas, my mum. So this one is Ritual of Antioxidants Refill, and this one is Enhanced Sleep Refill. So all these are made in Portugal. And so I thought both these are for mom of the antioxidant is really good for the body and the enhanced tea sleep is obviously good for the sleep. And my mom says that she's been struggling with sleep recently, so I've gotten her that. I'm off to my flight to Singapore tomorrow. So the next time you'll see me, I will be going and I'll be enjoying the F1. I am absolutely so excited. This is gonna be like the, one of the most fun things I've ever done. I've been wanting to do F1 for a while. I'm just, I'm so excited. Anyway, I will see you guys on the next vlog when I'm off to F1.